In this video, I'm talking all about focus peaking and zebras. What are they and why do you need to know what they are? So let's get into it. Filming great videos on digital SLR cameras is extremely possible, but the problem is that most digital SLR cameras are intended for photography. Therefore, their video features and their video capabilities are extremely limited. So yes, you can shoot a great video with a digital SLR camera, but it can be really awkward and it can be really difficult to get the perfect shot. So that's why cinema cameras are really great. Cinema cameras are packed with such amazing features that help you, the filmmaker, create amazing videos every single time. You don't have to worry about focus or overexposing because there's loads of different tools in place to tell you when these things are going to happen. And that's where focus peaking and zebras come into play. Focus peaking and zebras are two monitoring overlays on your camera that are helping you to pull the perfect image. Now let's focus on focus peaking to begin with. Focus peaking, like the name implies, is basically allowing you to get your image in focus. Now the way focus peaking works is it essentially sharpens the edges of the frame that are in focus and then everything that isn't in focus will not be sharp. Essentially, it creates a sharp outline around all of the focus parts, and this is giving you that confirmation that the image is in focus. When we're filming our videos, it may look focus on a screen this size, but the second you get it on a computer or you get it on a TV, you can really tell that it's soft and out of focus. But with focus peaking, you can be fairly confident that your image is in focus. So essentially, focus peaking is just another tool to help you get the perfect image. It's helping you get perfect focus on every single shot. It's really handy, and once you film with focus peaking turned on, it's very difficult to go back to filming without focus peaking because all of a sudden everything looks completely blurry and it makes you ask the question, how did I manage to get anything in focus before I used focus peaking? I use it on every single video shoot because it gives me the confidence to know that what I'm filming isn't going to be soft, it's going to be in focus. And then moving on, we've got zebras. Now zebras present themselves when you start to overexpose your video. And zebras basically look like a zebra pattern. So you'll have these diagonal lines animating across the screen and this is representing the parts of the frame that are overexposed. Now, most cinema cameras have really great dynamic range. You can generally shoot a little bit brighter and a little bit darker than it needs to be, and you can fix this in the edit. But when you push it past a certain level and you overexpose the image, it means no detail is being captured in that blown out area, that overexposed area. It's just going to be a big block of white. You typically see this with the sky. The sky will be just completely white and that's because it's overexposed. There's no detail captured there. It's just completely gone. This is where your zebras come in really handy because it's going to tell you this specific part of the frame, I'm not capturing any detail. This is just overexposed and you need to pull your exposure down or you need to put an ND filter in front of the camera to fix this. Now, different cameras work in different ways. Some cameras, it's best to slightly underexpose to make sure that you get the highlights exposed correctly. Some cameras like to be overexposed slightly so that you can expose the shadows properly but generally you want to be making sure that you're not overexposing and getting that zebra warning once you start to see those zebras you're too hot you're overexposing too much so you have to pull down the exposure and that will bring back all of the detail in those highlights so essentially zebras and peaking are two ways of helping you to get the perfect image they're helping you to monitor your frame and make sure nothing is overexposed or out of focus because once it's overexposed and out of focus you can't fix that in the edit so these two tools are two tools that I use on a regular basis on every single one of my shoots. Unfortunately, because of their limited video capabilities, zebras and peaking aren't in most digital SLR cameras. It's only really when you start to hit the prosumer slash cinema camera line when you start to see these features enabled. But once you get to that point, please, please, please start using zebras and focus peaking because it's really going to help you get the perfect image every single time. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.